Luke chapter 21, verse 25, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and the stars upon the earth, the stress of nations for perplexity, and the seas where it is born. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 9. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars in the people of the world, Shalom, first and foremost, I'd uh, like to give all praise and some glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Akakadash, Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely, and Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit-down lesson from foxnews.com, published from the, it was from the Associated Press and published September the 28th, 2023 at 4.10 p.m. Eastern Time, and it reads, Scuffle between Lebanese Armenian riot police erupts outside Algebrajani's ambassador. It says, <clears throat> uh, Demonstrators were protesting against recent Azerbaijan military offense. Since uh, bring out that second Ezra, they should not regard their kings nor their princes. As we've been seeing these uh, protesters increasing throughout the world. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes in the course of their actions to stand in their power. All right, that's uh, the protests. So I continue on with the reading. It says uh, hundreds of Lebanese Armenians scuffled with riot police on Thursday after. I mean, outside the uh, Al-Zabrajani embassy in northern Beirut during a protest against the al military offense that recaptures Nagorno Karabakh from the enclave separatist Armenian authorities. And it says the uh, protest wave, uh, protesters wave flags of Armenian Nagorno no, go no Karabakh, if I pronounced that right, and burn, it says, and burn pro, uh, protesters of Algebrajian president Il Ilham al Ariyev and Turkey's president Recep Tayyip Erdogan at the demonstration at the NR suburb of the Lebanese capital. It says, Lebanese riot police lodge tear gas canisters and the protesters after they hurl fire clackers towards the embassy building and it says the 24-hour military blitz last week forced armenian separatist authorities to agree to lay down weapons and sit down for talks on their regard care box re uh generation into algebrajian the separatist government said Thursday that it would dissolve itself and unrecognized republic will cease to exist by the year's end after a three-decade bid for independence. And this is an actual photo right here. It says uh, a Lebanese-Armenian uh, protest clash riots outside of the Algebrajian embassy near Beirut, Lebanon, Thursday, September 28th. And it says more than 50 of the Nagorno Karabakh's population of 120,000 has left the region for as Armenia as a nightfall Wednesday. Though Al-Zabrashenian's authorities uh, promised to respect the rights of ethnic Armenians, meaning uh, fear of rep reprisals, the form head of Nagorno-Karabakh's separatist government was arrested as he tried to cross the Armenian along tens of thousands of others who had fled. This is... Uh, 
during the enclave. It says during the enclave independence bid, Lebanese Armenians have sent money and aid and have actively campaigned in the media in support of the uh, Nerego Cure Box, which they refer to as Artashah. Artashah. If I pronounced that right. And it says the uh, Lebanese in in boil and in persistent economic crisis which has lately restricted the financial support of the Lebanese Armenians for Narogono Korkirabak because of banks imposing tighter withdrawal limits. Lebanese, a tiny uh, Mediterranean country, is about 6 million people, is home to some 150,000 Armenians. It's one of the largest Armenian communities. Wow. I didn't know, uh, well, I didn't know, uh, I didn't know Armenian people who was in Lebanon. That was my first time hearing about that. Bukatino, it says, uh, it's on the largest Armenian communities in the world are, uh, outside of Armenians, most of them descendants of the survivors of the 1915 mass killing during the latest days of the Ottoman Empire. So with that, we're gonna watch that. So I'm gonna bring out that loop 21 and 25 again. Then I'm gonna close out. And this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25, and it reads: It says, And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and the stars upon the earth, the stress of nations, where perplexity and the seas and rage warm. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying of this recent news article. A protest took place outside of uh, Beirut of uh, Lebanon as of Thursday, as of September the 28th, 2023. And it reads again, scuffles between Lebanese and Armenian riot police erupts outside of Al-Jabrajani's embassy, embassy, I meant to say, which is uh, over there in Lebanon. As it says again, demonstrators were protesting against recent Azerbaijan military offense. Right, once that military offense occurred, and I believe the escalations last about for a whole week or two, or for like a couple of days, or close to a week, and then they came to sort uh, some sort of a, an agreement between both sides from the separatists and from the other nations. So they got a little tr trust agreement going on. So they were just doing protests of the, the latest military uh, offense that took place uh, as of last week. But as again, it says uh, scuffles between Lebanese and Armenian riot police erupts outside of Azerbaijan's ambassador over there in Beirut as of Thursday. So with that, once again, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was edifying. From uh, foxnews.com of this uh, recent news article. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, or Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.